Hi Stampers, Carol here and this is going to be a quick, quick uh, video because it is very late and uh, I need to work early in the morning and 5.30 comes early but I was talking to my friend Johnny and she we were talking about different things to do with vellum and I was explaining to her this one concept I wanted to try with my Copics and using the thick based vellum from Stampin' Up. I stamped my Whiff of Joy uh, little girl here in my um, CC design order like this. First I put gray, believe it or not, gray Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then I did over the gray the black uh, just, just to um, soften the black and then I'm going to show you uh, what I came up with on this thing that I really like the way it shows up, okay? And so we're going to go do that very quickly. So what you'll need is your piece of vellum. I'm doing mine later on on my card with black cardstock, but you certainly can choose. I just think it was with the colors, the uh, the uh, cardstock and the vellum and the image I think will look really nice on this and then I may do it on to a bright color you know maybe a teal I'll see what I do the dress in okay and then you want to get out your mat pack this is Stampin' Up's mat pack here and uh, we're going to test out some of these embossing tools here that we um, are going to uh, you know they're score tools but they're embossing for scoring okay and I used my Fiskars and my image on here to press it down so I got it nice and firm and I'm going to throw one more thing in here's the beautiful stamp from whiffofjoy.com Elizabeth Bell designed it isn't that pretty right there now I was cleaning my room out yikes what's new and I found this dollar store, you know you get these clear um, photo albums, they got the plastic and then you have, I don't know, 50 uh, or to 100, maybe it's 50 sheets and 100 folds. So what I did was um, I put a elastic on their elastic like this, this is just a hairband so that I could stretch it over, but I opened it up. And all of my small stamps that I, you know, I put away in the big binders that I want to use, but I, you know, I seldom go to all the binders that I have. I thought, oh, this is awesome. Look at all in this binder, if you stand it up like this, okay, um, this is just an insert right here, and it has the rings on the back, you know, like you were using your, um, slice maker to make a book um, and then it covers it with this plastic these are at the dollar store you find them at the dollar store and look at look at all of the little stamps I can fit in here at a glance everything small I have set in here and then I can just sit down and say you know what I want to use this image and and you know start using these things but they get lost in, like your little magnolias get lost in the big uh, sections. And um, all my dollar store, and I still have all of these pages left. So I encourage you to go to the dollar store, get yourselves one of these, and they would sit on a shelf very nicely. Watch this. It closes up like this, and it just comes right over here, snaps around there, and look at that. Look at how many of these you could stack high or stack across for one dollar. Amazing. So anyway, thought I'd throw that in. And, and I want to tell you, I found my applique. Now, if you just follow me here, remember I looked for that for a day and a half. I'm going to lift up my camera. I'm going to bring it over here. And I don't know if you see this. But right there on the side where I keep all of my oops, inks and my uh, Lindy stamp sprays up there. Okay, I looked up there, came down here. 
I moved this cart about five times and right there, see those three little things back there? That's my snow applique. And I moved, my, I had my hand near there all the time. So I didn't lose them. I told you I organized them. Organizingly lost. So they're back there and this is what they are. Liquid applique and when you heat it, it turns into poofy snow. I just love it. So anyway, I did, it was there all the time. And I said that I thought it was near me, and it was. Okay, let's get this set down so we can get to work. All right. So, let's move this up, and let's get working on our image there. I will move this over like this, so you can see what we're doing. I'll give it a full zoom like that. And let's go. Let's get started. All right. Okay, I'm sitting down. This is wonderful. So as I'm looking in, I can see that you see that very well. I'll kind of tip it a bit for you. I've stamped it on this side here. So what we want to do is to flip it over to the other side to make our wonderful white marks with our stylus. So, I this is a Martha Stewart um, stylus, as is this one. These are for two different things here. Um, this is for her light box, and this is Stampin' Up. Now, um, if you, I'm just going to do it down here and see which one works better. Making the white marks. And I found that the smaller ones worked well, the thinner ones. Let's just see here. Turn it over. Next, it has to go this way. <laughs> Let me just see here. There, okay? There. So I chose to use this very small one, the smallest one I could find to do this. Okay? So let's move this out of the way. Let's make sure I'm in the frame. And also it raises it up, which I really like. If I show you this up close, am I too close? Can you see that, how that's raised up? It's really pretty. Okay, so let's turn it over on the opposite side that we stamped. And another thing that I want to tell you to do is go beside the um, stamped. Don't go on top of it. You want to see the, you don't want to turn the black into white. So you just go like this. And we're finished the shoes already. They stick right out dimensionally when you're looking at it. Can you see that? How pretty that looks. And when we color this in, you're not going to believe how nice it is. So it doesn't take that long uh, because we are going to go on the outside of our black image like this. And let me see. I don't think I have a smaller one. Just let me check it out here a minute. I don't think I do. Um, okay, I'll, keep, I'll continue with this one. Making sure you are watching me. Okay, you don't want to be off camera. So you just come up. Don't be like right precise. You know, you want to just get on the outskirts of the black where you stamped. Do not go, and you can go over it and over it. If those white marks aren't showing up, you're not doing your job there. <laughs> so. There we are. That half is done. Now I'm going to come in. I'll do her arm. Remembering I am on the, um, I'm not doing the black, okay? There we are. Follow that. And then these dots, I'll show you how we do it. Don't be on the 
ink spots. Then you're just going to take being ever so light because you do not want to um, put a hole in it. Okay, so now we go along the side here, along the side here, here, and let's do the outside of her hat. This, this is going to look dynamite. And I got a sewing machine yesterday. I'm so excited. Instead of that handheld one, I actually have my own sewing machine that makes all of my own. I'm going to be able to stitch everything. So I will do a video on that. Okay, so here's one, two, three, four lines in here. And then one, two, three. Get in between those black marks. You want to see those black marks when we're done. Her hair, we're going to be right on the outskirts of her hair. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's just come down, do the lines. This is a pretty, pretty image. It's easy to do beside the lines. It's not hard at all. Little pocket, we're almost done. We're going to start coloring. And the key to this is to stay. And you know what? You don't have to go up and down all of those pleats there. We just want it to stand out, right? And her hand. And just do the odd, because these are pleats. So in your pleats, just go on beside the lines like that. And here we go. Go beside these pleats here in her dress. And wait till you see when we start using the Copics how gorgeous this is. And another thing I think would be absolutely gorgeous, 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 is to um, use your powd your um, powders, you know, your chalk ink. Stampin' Up, we remember we bought them and then all of a sudden you couldn't buy them anymore and you're stuck with them. So what you do is, you just get them out and start using them. It doesn't matter that they're retired or they took them out of the book. Man alive. You bought them because we liked them, right? So let's get that stuff out and start using it. Most of us are not our hobbyists. We are not worried whether we have new product. We just want to enjoy the products that we bought. And that's what that's my philosophy that I say, you know what? <clears throat> I spent a lot of money for those products and I am going to use them and have fun and the chalks are one of them. Love using the chalks. I'm gonna do a vellum butterfly, I'll show you. Um how gorgeous it is. Now the eyes are very delicate, so I find this just oh, so artsy, you know, and when you're doing this, you're actually adding dimension in your uh, final product of having shades, like dark and light shades. Look at we're finished. All I have to do is go like this. Do you see how fast this is? And get all her, the frills on her dresses done. Does it have to be like, no. Can you tell me that's not gorgeous? I want to make sure I get up there and you see this. You see every detail. How, how this just sticks right out. That image. Look at that. Look at the white. Let me put it up against the black. She is so three-dimensional. It is crazy. Crazy nice. I'm telling you, you will love this. I just love this stamp. So let's go. Let's get our Copics. And <clears throat> hopefully, yeah, I'm just where I should be. Turn it over now. This is all puffed up. So turn it over and we will begin 
to now you can use your um, you can use anything I mean it doesn't have to be your Copics but I'm going to go dark on the left my light source coming in from the right and let's start coloring I am going to make her bonnet hmm. R, whoop, RV 34 so we'll do the RV 34 now I'm not touching um, the I don't have to I want to stay inside that's what I'm trying to say sorry I'm trying to stay inside the um, the white lines Okay, and I'll show you when I get this done. And the beauty of this is you do not have to be um, an excellent Copic color. I'm certainly not. So, um, let's see. We'll darken that up with the RB19. And we'll come in and we'll just like this okay and you know under the brim of her hat here it's going to be dark okay like this but not at the top you're going to get on the bottom and then we will like we won't get anything here it'll be darker underneath here and I'm going to stop right there. Okay, then we're going to go back to our um, RV34 and we'll blend that in. Just up and down. There we are. There we are. And we will see how this. I'm going to just make scribblies up here. Not quite sure what that is yet, but I'll just scribble it. Okay. A little darker. Take some of that out. Then I am going to totally lighten this up with RV11. I'm going to lighten it up. Right here. See what that looks like. Da da. Do you see that pop off there? Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Let's keep going. Now, when I do this, I can see that I need to add a little bit more dark. So you don't, you know, when you're going dark, I think I will switch to kind of a red this time. And, um, I'm watching to make sure I am in so you can see me. I've got so many bright lights on it's hard to tell. Okay, see how that is like that? Alright, I'm gonna darken I'm gonna really darken it up on the left side. Right up like this, in like this. And I am leaving that like that. No blending. So that's going to look really nice when we're done. So there's our pinks on that. Do I want anything else pink? Sure I do. So I'm going to take the RV11. And I am going to do her bottom part. Do I want to touch those white marks I made? No. But this is where I'm going to blend. I am also going to do this in... Um, pocket nice and light and I'm going to leave the rest for burgundy then I'm going to take the RV19 and uh, we're going to darken this up the bottom and if there's ever a line you know you're going to have this dark under here because the sun's not going to reach underneath her dress there we are. 
There we go. And then take some of that red, that uh, RV28, and let's get it down on the bottom, just maybe a line like this, leaving the center light. Let's go back in with our RV11. And leaving, just do the middle. Just do the middle like that. There we go. And we will just do the one side here of that. Turn it around. And look at that. Tell me that's not cute. Can you see that? I will pull, I will zoom it out, but I just want you to see that, how gorgeous that is. Okay, now for the white here, I am going to take, um, well, I want to do some blues. So let's do B23 and B26. Okay. So I will do the bottom of her frill here. And this is the beauty of this. Because you're doing the back, right? I mean, you're not, it's not as precise as when you're... Um, doing it on paper. And then uh, underneath that frill is going to be darker. You can just drag that along underneath here. Just shake it like that. Beauteous. And then, I mean, you can take it up a notch and do um, uh, B37 and come around there underneath, just in little spots. There we are. Bringing down those pleats, like this. Okay, leaving some, let's see how that looks. Absolutely dynamite. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean it is. So now on the bottom, I'm going to choose to do, um, I think I will do R20, R21, really light pink. This is going to be really light pink. Nothing right here that is going to, and don't forget, you can turn around and look at your image, just if this is her hand. These are her flowers, and that's her hand. And um, I think I want to do the R27 here and do the polka dots with the red. I think that'll look really cute because they are in there. They're in the pockets, they're up in here. This is gorgeous. They're up in here. Like that. They're down here. Really quick. This vellum is so forgiving. There we are. Look at that. And then we can outline it with the um, RV11 on the outskirts. Drag it in. This is beauteous. I love vellum. Okay, and I think I will darken up a bit of this, keeping in the dots. And look at the way I'm coloring. It is not worried about out of the lines at all. I want you to see this. Is that not gorgeous? And I love daisies. So let's brighten these with the uh, Y06. And um, some nice daisies. And let's get, um, I think I would match her bow up with the yellow. That's the uh, Y06. Make sure it is. Like that. I think that's pretty. And then we would 
take some G07 for the stems and then I might just put a little bit of green right there and she's almost complete. If I want any more white in her apron, all I'm going to do is take the stylus, the white stylus, and add white like this. That's all I am going to do. Let me show you. To color her face, I am going to do E00 like this. And let me see. Looks like something was on here. I don't want to trust that. Okay. There we are. And then I'm going to take some E2. And I'm going to darken up the forehead like this. Just up the middle. And then we are going to do her hands. Uh, I'll add some E33. Just on the outskirts like this. And her hand. Her other hand. And the green, which was the G07, needs to... You will see a few things that you like to do. And that's about it. I want to do her hair black. So, I'll take the C7, first of all. And I will come down with the black up at the top. Like this. I am going to leave the center. And in her hair, the underneath is always dark like this, but the center you're going to leave clear. And then I'm going to put a little bit of gray, so that would be the C5, just to complement those areas. Still leaving those lines like that, and then I'm going to do black black, the 100, like this, coming with the lines. of her hair. Just the lines. Leaving the whites so that she has some dimension. And then you're going to take your gray again and we'll blend that out and this is going to look sweet. Okay, so let's blend that out. There we are. And let's take our colorless blender pen and add, take away some here, here, underneath there. There we are. Take this pink for her cheeks, which is the RV21. RV21. I'm going to add a little mouth with it. There we are. I think we're almost finished. Let's take a look. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Look at this. I'm going